What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Last week, I posted a video showing you a path to the Temple of Mayrune. Today, I am showing you the quest called Pieces of the Past. Many times, I have trudged through Skyrim to get to a location of a quest and wound up attacked by a dragon. This ends up costing valuable resources and time. Also, wandering all over trying to find a path takes forever. Scouting ahead and exploring Skyrim is one of the best ways to open the land up so you can fast travel when new quests happen, even if the location is close to the quest location and you have to walk a bit. Pieces of the Past begins when you reach level 20. A courier approaches you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Let's see what this invite says. Silas Vesuius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim dynasty inside of his very own home in the great capital of the Pale Dawnstar, free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. Okay, so you can go to Dawnstar any time and see the museum. By the way, if you are not wanting to join a guild or buy a house, these two barrels in front of War Maidens are a safe place to store stuff, just not for a very long time. Now on with the quest. Once you get to Dawnstar, you will come upon Silas arguing with his wife, Medina. Ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. Let's talk to her. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Who's Silas? What's this Silas museum? Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the Mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Maybe we should go talk to Silas. That museum is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. I good. Glad we straightened that out. I don't know what that was about, but let's just go into the creepy man's house. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts. Well, did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, 
for good or ill. Let's talk about this job he wants done. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the mythic dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. You want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Good luck finding the fragments. The first part is easy. Fast travel to Morthal and get the piece from Jurgen. Jurgen was killed by a vampire attack, so I snatched the key to his house off of him after the melee. I'm just going to fast forward the jog to Jurgen's house. Out for some breaking and entering and thievery. Inside Jurgen's chest is the hilt of Meru's razor and some other stuff, but all I came was for the hilt. So, on with the... I am not going to play through the whole quest, but I will show you the places you have to go. The blade shards of the razor can be found at... Ah, man, missed it. Over here... You will find the blade shards at Cracked Tusk Keep. The pommel can be found all the way over... Come on, over here at the Hag Dead Crone Rock, which is next to Hag Rock Redoubt. You are going to fight an orc hunting party in the keep and a bunch of Forsworn and a Hag Raven at the Redoubt. Let's move on to the ending. This is where exploring comes in handy because you can just fast travel to the temple. Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. Thank you. Please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands you, on the altar. Mortal, you are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. It will be done, Lord Dagon. Fuck. You can choose not to kill Silas, but then you don't get the razor, and you are unable to enter the temple. Pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. Thank you, Lord Dagon. You have been a worthy tool. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's Dagon for yourself.
Of course, after you take the blade, well, you get screwed because he's a Daedra. After you kill the Dreamora, you will get a Daedra heart and a key to the temple. Save before you enter the temple. I will do another video about the temple. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.